Hello everyone and welcome to Best Side Cycling. Today I'm here in Seattle Fremont and I have the Brompton with me today and what we're going to do is see how this goes against some of the local hills around here. So the first one we have here is uh, Finney Avenue. Yeah, there's two parts to it. One goes maybe four to six percent and then it ramps right up to eight, ten percent. And we're just going to see how this goes with this bike. As you can see, I basically have everything stock. Um, just the bike itself, normal running shoes, normal clothes and let's roll and see how it goes. So this is the first part, <laughs> pretty easy, four to six percent. I'm definitely not trying to go hard, just gonna be rolling through. And then, uh, what waits up, us up, what waits for us up ahead is the hard part. For now, this is just a little warm up. So yeah, definitely more than enough gears on this bike for this part, maybe four percent-ish. Uh, just able to just keep spinning. But this next part, I tell, I highly doubt I'm going to be able to talk much. All right, so we're starting to approach the next section of Finney Avenue, which is the steep part. The segment's listed right here, and it averages actually 12.4%. So even steeper than what I was saying and listing in the video. And yeah, the Brompton I have in front of me is a six-speed Brompton. For those of you curious, it's the now called, I think, the C-Line, but it used to be the M6R. And let's go back to the action. Oh, there we go. Let's go. All right. Ready? Set. All right, go. Okay, not as bad as I thought, but this is definitely some work. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely at least the 10, 8 to 10. The front weight on the front is really helping to keep the bike down. And I'm just trying to survive, I'm not just doing the bare minimum to get the bike going. But look so far that this minimum gear on the six speed Bronson is enough. All right. I think that was probably one of the steeper pitches, but a little bit more to go. And so far, my impressions are that the Brompton does climb pretty well. I mean, it is not a light bike. I think this model comes in at 27 pounds according to the website, and I got a full bag in the front with some equipment, so easily about 30 pounds, and then, but I'm still going. And I think that's mainly due to the small 16 inch wheels, as well as this version has six gears, so I'm on the lowest one, of course, able to just spin up and uh, even climb a bit out of the saddle now, though it is a little bit awkward because of the sort of tall fork, but with the bag in the front, that really helps out to stabilize it. But I did also want to give the disclaimer that I really do love climbing hills, so this is sort of right up my alley, but I, I really do think that this is quite impressive for such a small and compact bike and how I'm feeling and the level of difficulty. But if you join and see all this hard work I'm putting in, please roll over that like button and subscribe. I cover all sorts of Seattle cycling, but also I love covering my Brompton adventures just because this is such a great and useful bike. But keep on watching this video because after we do this hill, we're gonna go for an even steeper one, uh, probably one that you wouldn't normally ever think of doing, and we'll see what the Brompton that can do. We're gonna make it. This thing can climb. It's heavy though, but it can climb. Yeah. All right. And I think that very much was the real climb right there. So, so far, in terms of the question, will the Brompton climb? I think it's a yes. The four to six percent for me, not a problem at all. And then up there, eight to probably 12, 13 percent, was able to keep telling make it through. So now, of course, we're gonna level up and take something on. I might not even try on my road bike. So just after a short descent and making sure that we can cross over the bridge, we make it to the final boss. So we're here at 4th Avenue and this is known as the wrong way climb. On Strava, it's about 18.8% gradient, but I think this bottom part is well in the 20s. And I have no idea if I'm going to make it up or not. I 
don't recall the last time I've ever had to walk off or stop during the middle of a climb, but I'm really thinking that this might be the first time. So uh, we're going to go for it and then see what happens. Uh, definitely, we're going to have to watch out a bit for cars, uh, both safety first. And yeah, let's roll and let's see what happens. Ready, set, go. Let's do it. Come on. Let's see what happens. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. This is bad, yo. This is really bad. <laughs> this is really bad. I'm not going to make it up. I'm not going to make it up. Oh my gosh, I can't make it up. Oh my god. All right, we're going to try again. What's with the bag? Oh, there's no hell. <laughs> I barely made it. All right, let's try again. Let's try one more time. Oh, hell no. I went without the bag. All right. Oh my gosh. That is just untenable. Okay. All right, round two, but I really think it's gonna end up the same. We're gonna try this again. So far, the question is, will this prompted climb a uh, 20 odd percent gradient with no modifications and flat pedals? Ready, round two, let's go. Uh. Oh, it's better. It's better, but yo, there's like no chance. Okay, wait. Okay, it's better. It's actually better, but nope. <sighs> okay, I think that's it for this video. So just to recap, I was not able to make it up this hill. Uh, it was definitely just too steep with the flat pedals, everything. I just didn't have the sort of power to keep going or the traction to go. Um, I do have a suspicion maybe with clipless pedals or something, then that would definitely help me at least. But yeah. Overall, still really impressive what the Brompton can do. Uh, pretty much for any normal hill, you're gonna be able to get up it slow and steady. So it was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video.